if you ask the user to enter his name and he didn't enter anything, the value would be as a null as by, by default. But if you are going to display this result, you will display his name as a null. This will make some problems. In order to uh, prevent entering a nullable value or having a nullable value, and under certain condition, you can check whether a nullable has a value. And if so, you can use the variable as if it were not null. I will create variable name of type string. When you define a name of, uh, uh, of variable or create a variable name of type string, the default value is none without assigning anything to it, okay? So the default value of any string would be none without defining anything to it. So without the equal sign, it will be none, okay? Var, another var name uh, not null string but it has a exclamation mark sorry uh, question mark to check for the nullability if the entered name name like name or the unt entered entered name is does not equal to null i will create a variable here called var entered name equal to uh, jack so i am checking for not null by using exclamation mark and equal sign checking does not equal to null go and make the name equal to entered name otherwise else make the name the nullable author which is a name not null equal to name and third name okay i'm checking now for the not null and to prevent anything or any null pointer exception error you will immediately notice that there is no exclamation mark here when using the nullable uh, name, entered name. Using nullable checks in this way is an example of Kotlin smart cast. This is how the smart cast works in Kotlin. If the nullable contains a value, the if expression then executes the first block of code. This is the code within which Kotlin will smart cast the name to the entered name or the entered name to the name to a regular non-null string. If the nullable does not contain a value, then if expression execute the else condition. Okay, so you can see how using smart cast is much safer than not null assertion and you should use them whenever a nullable might be null not null assertion is only not null assertion is only appropriate when a nullable is guaranteed to contain a value using smart casts for nullables is only helpful if the nullable being checked is not or is not or cannot be changed after the null checks occur. For example, if the nullable is assigned to a var that is not changed after the smart cast occurs, 
and before usage or is uh, assigned to a fan. So we need to, uh, to check that these are the last things that for checking for nullability. Okay, this is for safety and safe casting of the uh, variables. And these should be at the last when you finish changing the variables or for using for the constants. Okay, so this is how the checking for nullability uh, may uh, occurs in Kotlin.